You know who I think would have an opinion on this whole Clipper Laker thing we got oh, going yes, on indeed. here on opening night? Snoop joins us. Well, I think the last time you were on the show, we were, it was All Star Weekend, and we had that uh, that talent show with the players. Oh, oh who, yeah. Who can forget that? <laughs> who, can, who can remember? He could. He didn't remember it. I didn't remember it either. <laughs> he remembers. I forgot all Just about that. that yeah, stuff, that was man, really good. Please. Very, very, very <laughs> impressive. Okay, whose town is this? Clippers or Lakers? Always been a Laker town. Always will be. How that the, easy. How do the Clippers change that? Um, Go go get a new stadium and win some championships. Well, you they, you they kicking them out of Staples Center? I mean, they they're not worthy to be here. They have no banners. We got banners. Right. We got statues. They don't yeah. even have nobody with a statue outside. They're like they're like a bad step step kid that your mama didn't tell you about. That your mama adopted. <laughs> she adopted him. They're like yeah. she, you know I adopted. When did you adopt him, mama? You didn't tell her. <laughs> now we got to share clothes with him and share food and stuff. <laughs> this is a totally new perspective on the uh, Clipper Laker rivalry. What so is think, there let's say if the Lakers both of you the Lakers ever got eliminated out of this year's playoffs would you root for the Clippers? Never. 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 Whoa. Whoa, oh, now that's deep. I went to a Clipper playoff game with a purple suit on. It's and, like that. And, and yeah, when they was winning, when they had Blake and all, you know, they thought they was going to win when they had Chris Paul and Blake and, and DeAndre Jordan. They thought they was good then. I thought they was better then than they is now. But isn't okay. part of you saying, you know what, this is good for the city of Los Angeles when both of these teams, when they mention possible NBA champions or Western Conference finalists, that these two teams are both coming up in a conversation. I mean, that's good for Clipper fans, you know, because I'm, I'm an L.A. guy, so I get him a little love as far, as far as, like, having a reason to come to basketball games to even have a – because usually we used to use them to go to see who's coming to town. <laughs> is, is Jordan them playing tonight? Is – is Shaq and them playing? Who playing tonight? The Clippers. It's, it's going to be ten dollars seats, and you gonna have some great seats. It's uh, turned into a roast of the Clippers. <laughs> We're totally unintentional, Chuck. Hey, so listen, this is a, a been a while since we had this much excitement going into an NBA season. Got a question for you. Who's your team coming out of the East? Oh, wow, that's a great. I would go with um. I'm not going to go with M M Milwaukee because everybody would think I would pick them. I'm going to go with the 76ers. There you go. They picked up Horford, right? Yes. I like the 76ers. I like them. And I think Ben Simmons is going to show up this year. Kenny, who was the first celebrity to, to curse you out of the game? Snoop was the first celebrity to say. Really? That, yeah. Like, it's, I was having a bad game one day and I looked over and Snoop was like, bend your damn knees, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Make a damn free throw, Shaq. Come on. It, it, he didn't cuss me out, but the first one who screamed on me was ZZ Top. And he used to oh, wow. ZZ Top was like, come on, Smith, stop turning the ball over. <laughs> I never, I never knew you were a beard. ZZ with the beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never ZZ knew you were a big top. ZZ Top fan. Wow. Those, those guys Houston. are great. I know they're from Houston. I got to know those guys. They're from Houston. They used to come hey, on our they, team play. They actually anything. put on a great concert. ZZ I've been to top. some of their concerts before. Well, that's that's I do have a, can I have a music question for you? Yeah, I got a music question too. But let's talk about first place. Latest song. Tell me about it. First place is a song where it's just about the, the achievements that I made in my life and what I've done as far as being in first place. I don't I don't like being in second place. I always, you know, push myself to be in first place in everything that I do. And this song that I did is just a depiction of what it is for my career as far as me being in first place. Let's play a short little clip of that. Turn that up. Oh, that's nice right there. Yeah, say your name in there too, Shaq. I know you do. I appreciate that. <laughs> and, and in fact, you were referencing uh, Nipsey Hussle when you did that too. Yes, you kind of a, a tip of the hat to him. Yeah, champions from... never die; they ever last. Yep. I, I do have a, a offbeat music question because we were talking about it earlier, and I think the fans would love to hear this. Just two parts of it. The song. I asked you this. The song that when you were in the studio. You like that's it. I don't. The only you know you've been in the studio with Dre and you know for years and you you got hit after hit after hit. But this was the one you said I know this is it. And second, what was the song that Dre and you did together that he had to convince you to do? Okay, the first question and the first answer. G thing is the first song that I knew when I heard it, it was a hit. From the moment the first you know beat of the music came on. 
now the song that I had to convince Dr. Dre to like because it's the other way around with him. He don't never convince me. I got to convince him because he's his worst critic. It was Deep Cover. He hated Deep Cover. He hated Deep Cover. Deep cover. Oh, yeah, Deep we, Cover. Oh, do, we've do, never performed do. that song ten times. You couldn't, you couldn't find ten pieces of video footage of me and him performing that song. He yeah. hates that song. Wow. Snoop, last time you was up here, we went viral. So we about to do it again. You <laughs> ready? Bring, 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 Oh, we, we got a team full of G's like me, and we don't plan to lose. We came to give blues to your Clipper fans. Ooh. That's impressive. Hey, 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 Snoop. If I'm a Clipper fan, I'm not thinking it's very impressive, but that's it. Hey, Snoop, Snoop, Kenny was going, bing, 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 Thanks for coming by, man. Hurry up. He was running out of breath. Good to see you, Snoop. Kenny, y'all was going to beatbox down. What's happening? We'll be back with more right after this. Lake Show, baby. Oh, man. Yeehaw! Bucket list is closed. I did this thing with Stu. I did it. I stopped after the third break.